All right, got everything loaded now. Oh, it'll capture the chat too. Uh, but yeah, got backup is you go to gotbackup.com. Okay. It's in the chat and then you just log in. I'm gonna be in the top right. I'm already logged in. So you have to create an account or a password or anything. You already have one. I'm not sure what my password is. And you can use the forgot password. Okay. But then once you get logged in, you'll go under dot backup, use this tool. You likely won't have the digital tools. It's an extra package. Uh, you might not have that, but under dot backup, you go to use this tool. You'll want to log into the new cloud. They'll eventually get you migrated, but you'll want to log into the new cloud. New cloud, okay. Uh, that'll make sure that your files don't have to get migrated later. Mm. But log into the new cloud, then you can auto log in. You can upgrade your login details if you need to for the actual backup. It also has the applications that you can download. You can get the desktop application and then you can get the mobile application. But you go to auto login. This will log you into your actual account where you have your files. Actually, you might want to log into the existing cloud because they might not have migrated you yet. So we'll go back. We'll so look into back up, existing. use this tool. Look into existing cloud. Because yeah, they, they might not have migrated the files that Abdullah. Yeah, sure, sure. But then it's the same thing. You go to auto login. It'll bring you to your storage. And then you should have your files. You should have a folder for, these are all of my files, uh, just showing you. Yeah. My, it's easier to do it from here than to try and have you log in and then do the training. Um, but mm. then you should have your folder. I'll just create a new one. We'll just make it. But then you have a new folder. I already have it. So then you'd create your passion. You should already have that as well. But then you've got all of your files in there. So you should have all of your files. Yeah. He edited them all, so he's he's put new ones in there now. Yeah. So then it, you can always update your files here if you need to change them or you want to make new versions of them and it has their dates. Of how 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 old they were, yeah. So then from there, you can create the link. So this is this is what you would do. It's a lot easier in the new version, but I'll show you this version. I'll show you both versions, just so you okay. know. Okay, thank you. So then here is where you would actually put in the share. So when someone buys your files, they'll you'll get an email with their email address. So you would literally just copy and paste their email address in here. From my email account, no problem. Yeah. I already have everything connected, but you won't have to worry about that. You would just copy and paste their email address because they won't be connected in here. Yeah. And then what you want to do is make sure that they're not allowed to edit. How do I do that? you'll create custom. So custom, and then you'll have these, you'll have these check boxes. So you'll want allowed downloads and then custom. They can read and share. You don't want them to share either because it's going to be something that, so that you just want that on read and download. Just read. Okay, yeah. Allow download and, allow, and read. Allow download and read. Yeah, because you don't want them to share with anybody else because it's going to be your paid content. Yeah, sure. Pay it. So then you save that share, and then you'll you'll have them there. But then okay. you would just copy and paste their email address in. Yeah. So I can show that. 
me just grab your email address to make it easier. Mm -hmm. So you copy, and then you just paste email address. I see, yeah. Then you hit enter, and that'll How create did you that get, contact. How did you get to confirm permissions? Just hit enter. From, from the email, so you, you go just press to, enter. You select the files. So you select your passion. Or you select to be in the folder, then you click on this icon. This is the link creation icon. And then it'll pop up with your window. You'll see your passion, sharing. You only custom permissions are here and then share with. And then you'll want custom permissions, only select and read and then allow download. Yeah, I got that a bit. Yep. Because that's how you'll get anyone added in there. Mm. And that will give them that access, and you'll have it here. Um, it's in really easy with yours because you're only doing a one-time payment. It's not like you have to mm. keep monitoring it monthly. No. But that will give them that access to that particular folder. Let's see. And then I'll show you in the new version as well. It's pretty much the same. So this is the new version. This is the new cloud. Okay. So it has a little bit more of icons, things you can see. Mm. A little bit brighter and user-friendly. Yeah, that looks good. So you can see all of those. So then you'll open up this box here. This is your option box. Will I need to use this version? Eventually, it will migrate to this version. Okay. Might need but the to process do some more is training. essentially the same. There's just Might a few uh, different areas training. to click on. So instead of using this link button, yeah. you'll use this button here. This opens up the side okay. window. So same, uh, same thing, and then manage access. And then you'll put in an email address. So same thing. And then can view. And then you'll be able to down select can download. You just want to make sure that you don't select can edit. So if you just want somebody to be able to see your scripts, you can do view. And then for the ones that are paid, you'll do can download. Okay. And then you would just click on the share. And then you can always change that. You can always delete it. For whatever reason and then you can create a share link but then you'll want to make sure that the link settings you go to here if you're sharing the link you, it should just be a view link so you'll want to unclick that you should only want to have people that can download be your paid members and you'll share that with mm -hmm. them so if you want to create a link you can create you'll edit the link settings and then you just uncheck allow download all these should be defaultly unchecked this will make it to where they can just view the files. Mm. So then you have download. So it's a little bit easier in the new version yeah. at the email address, and then you just change it to can download. A little bit less that you have to select. How'd you save it? It, it uh, once you add the, here, I'll delete it and do it again. Um, it, it, it says share. So you change it to can download and then click share. And that saves it. Oh, that's good. And that's the new version. And then you'll already have that, but you just use manage access. So it's a little bit easier in the new version, but still the same process in the old version. You just go to your folder and then you click on this button instead, and then you enter in the email address. And the same thing here with your share link, you just make sure that it's on view only. And then you can copy that share link as well if you wanted to just share the files for someone to look at. Like if you have somebody that might be looking at them or proofreading or looking over them, you can just share yeah. those paid members. You'll just change it to can download. 
but that's how you manage the guy backup. Um, you can, and then you can always modify your files, but that's the easy way of doing it. Um, I think that's all for that, but did you have any, any questions or anything you wanted me to review further on that? No, I don't think so. But yeah, you can see it's fairly simple. That's why I switched it to this method. It'll be a lot easier for you to manage it. Thank you. Or if you have anyone else that's managing it. Mm. It's a whole lot easier to do it to this than to try and do it through Builderall and having the files directly on the website. That's why yeah. I moved to, to doing this after we ran into changing the files and having I to change. Do you have a question? Yes. Can I add my audios to the file? And um, Yeah, you would add the same files in here. You can add audio files okay. in here. That's good. So yeah, you would just add that file into your, so you just upload, upload a file, and you just upload the audio file. Okay. That happens to be, you would just upload it to your, just make sure it's in your, your passion folder. And anyone that you've shared with it. So like if you add files later, anyone that you've shared with, they'll still have, they'll have those files as long as you shared the folder with them. Yeah. They'll have everything that's in the folder. So if you add, if you add your audios later, then they'll get access to those audios. If you add a different script or you do an updated version, they'll get that updated script and version. Oh, that's good. There will be some guest material. Yeah, and anything you upload in here. So if you so like we'll just go through like if I go upload and I'll just grab another file. It might already be in there, but I'll go and grab one of your other scripts from before. Okay. Let's see, I should have them in here. So like we'll just grab this script. So I go upload the file. And so now this upload is in there. And then it'll already automatically be shared. But yeah, you can add more files. So you can see this file and just got can, added. Can you delete that? Yeah. It's Click on delete. delete. Thank you. But that's how easy it is to mod manage it through Got Backup, since you'll be able to use these share files. Um, basically, this gives you a repository to share out of, gives you an easy way to track who you're sharing with, mm. so the access. You can see who you're sharing. Well, I deleted that other one, but I can put it back in there. So you can easily see who you're sharing with. So you can see all the emails that you gave an access to. Yeah. Very easy to yeah, that's manage good. that. So, and that's on the new version. On the old version, you just go through this, this icon here. Okay. Share. So you can see here's your name, where we're sharing. You can edit that. So right now it was on view, now it's allowed download read. So you can always update that. So, but you'd see your list here. It's just a different mm. button. So this is your share icon. Yes. <clears throat> In the old version. And then on the new version, you just go to the folder and you can click share. Looks good. Uh, those are the two versions. Um, likely your files that Abdullah uploaded are still in the old version, but they didn't put in a date yet of when they're going to migrate everyone to the new version. But mm. you could also have Abdullah just upload your file, copy and paste your files into the new version as well. If you don't want to wait, if you want to utilize the new version once you get into sales and you still got some time before you go into production. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be migrated by then. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm betting it's likely going to be before the end of the year. Oh, that's good. Because they have a lot of they have a lot of accounts. So it'll just be timing of when they get to your actual account. Yeah. But yeah, they they are I don't think they have a date listed on here. Let's see if they do. Yeah, see we're gradually migrating everybody. 
Let's see. And they're still yeah. working on some of the new cloud features. So some of the things mm. may change. Yeah, it says over the next few months. So yeah, I, I I bet by the end of the year they'll have everyone migrated. Well, that's good. So I need to use the new version. I would say the new version is just easier. It's it's a lot yeah. cooler looking. There's less areas to kind of get lost in. Yeah. So yeah, I would just have Abdullah move all your files and he can just recreate the folder because um, you can upload a whole folder. So if he downloads it as a folder and then you upload folder, you can have the whole folder. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah, so you can uh, he can upload a whole folder. So like if he goes, let's see, if he's in the old version, I'll put that in here. So go to files, we select your passion, then you should be able to download that. Yep, download. So then you would download that folder. So let's just save that, download the folder, and then come to the new version. We'll give that a second to complete its download, upload folder. Sure, download. I'll just upload file. It's got it as a zip. But then you just upload your passion and it'll upload all of that. Oh, well, that's helpful. Yeah. Or he can unzip it or he can copy and paste the files. But yeah, you shouldn't have a problem moving the files. Um, okay. I would just let them know to move it from the old version to the new version. Mm. You can do it that way, or you can select all download that way. But yeah, that's just until they get everything migrated. But yeah, I would say just because it's easier to share in the new version, and that's what you'll eventually yeah. do. Yeah. I'll just have Abdullah move those over. Um, he shouldn't have any issues moving the files since he's moved. He's already got the files in the old version. Mm. It's going to be the same files. So he can just download those files and then re-upload them. Oh, good. But then, yeah. Then once you get in here, then you have the share and everything else. Same thing with the get link. Um, just make sure that you change this to view only, which is just unchecking the uh, allow download. Then you can save that. So that makes it to where your link that you're sharing is view only. Yeah. And you can always turn that off too. Well, that's good. So I don't I don't foresee you using the share link all that much because you'll be doing no. more of the download access. Probably, yeah. Because you'll have paid members. So then you just put in their email address. And put read and uh on um, the new version, you just have to change it to download. Can download. Yep. So you don't have to do the check boxes on the new version. The new version can download will automatically allow that. So that's all you need is can download, enter in their email address, and click share. Then you'll see them down here once you share it. You'll have can download. So even if you forget to do it, you can always change it here. So if I'm you just sure did it by default, <laughs> it would start with view. I'm sure they'll let me know if I do forget to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if they can't download it or if they have trouble, you'll be able to come in here and manage it. Yeah. You'll see that it'll be on can view, and then you can just change it to can download. You just want to make sure that it's not on edit. Unless you have somebody that you want to work on your files directly, then you can give them edit access if you want. Yeah, yeah. But you can manage all of that right from Got Backup. And that makes it easier for you to manage going forward than to try and deal with the website and try to deal with everything else. Mm. Trying to Very make good. it easier on you. Yeah, thank you. Because that's what a lot of people don't think about in their management of businesses is their actual management of it going forward. Because if you had to go in and do that for, if you had to go in and create access files or update your website every time someone else knew access the files, 
or if you want to change file versions or add new files later, mm. that management is going to be a hassle for you later on. And that's more yeah. money that you'd have to spend on every update when you could just be uploading files. Mm. That makes sense. But yeah, that's what we have for today on the Gallup Backup. Um, you still got time. So, I mean, do you have other questions? No, I don't think so. Uh, it was just about the audio and the guest material. Yeah, you'll be able to upload it to the, you'll just come in and upload file. So when you have that file saved on your computer, you should upload that file. And it'll already be in the folder. It'll be there to share with whoever you're going to share with or whoever you already given share access to. They'll get those additional yeah. files. But yeah, that makes it 10 times easier to manage going forward. Mm -hmm. Do you use that? I don't I don't share files that way. Mine are all recordings. They're all on YouTube. Oh. Video files aren't files that you share and download like that. That's why I have everything like this recording will be on YouTube later and you'll get the link to that. Yeah, thanks. If I if I saved all of my video files, I would need a massive amount of storage. Yes. I have over 500 videos that I've done. Oh my goodness, that's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. So that's why I don't shared in this method because it'd be too much space mm. and I do new videos every week gosh so yeah YouTube Very is the good. video repository so that's why it goes on YouTube I mean you can do your audio files on YouTube as well but then you'd have to mark them as unlisted mm. and then you would have to share a bunch of links um, you could make it a playlist link but then you would have to do more in sharing that. You'd be better off because you should have enough space with Got Backup since you have six terabytes. I don't think you're going to utilize that much space. Oh, that's good. So, and then you can always get more space as well if you needed it. Mm. So if you, um, and it'll tell you how much you, you're utilizing. So if I you go to your that. tool, It will tell you here how much space you've got left. And then you well, can always. Good. But that says 5.98, and you said I get how much? You get six terabytes. So it's nearly full now, then? No, this is free space. Oh. This is the percentage right here. It's not even a full percent. Yeah, this is my yeah. folder. It will, you probably utilizing. Not even 1% of your usage. Oh, that's right now. good. But it tells you, and this bar would fill up depending on how much space you utilize. But you can always get more. Mm. But I, Very you'll cool. probably never even fill up half of this. Well, that's good, Ben. And that's if you saved every file you had for the rest of your life. Oh, and you good. probably still wouldn't fill up half of it. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> well, then yeah, I would say yeah, I wouldn't. I would keep your all of your files in Got Backup. I wouldn't go the route of putting your audio on YouTube. And that was no, one no. other version we could have done, but because of the way that you're gonna sell it and the way that you'll upload, it'll be easier for you to keep them all in Got Backup. Okay. Because then once you, especially if you're going to be doing them in the studio, you'll get those recording files and then you can just upload them. Um, if you didn't have audio recording files or you weren't going to a studio, then I would say you could create them with YouTube and mm. then download them. That would be another option, but you'll you'll be able to create, you're, you already have a process in creating those files. Yeah, I've put a deposit down of 600, so yeah, no backing out now. Yeah, exactly. That would just be losing on that money that you've already spent to go in through and get those audio masters there. And it'll be a yeah. lot crisper audio. With it's studio. 
Yeah, because then you'll have no background noise. You'll have the studio Oh, yeah, yeah, microphone. of course, yeah. Uh, so it'll be a lot better to have studio quality audio than That's to... what I thought. There aren't that many files, but I just thought that I wanted it to be the best quality. A friend said, why don't you do it on your phone? And I just thought, quality. and I've got a noisy neighbor as well. You know, the quality would be really bad. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I would stick with that. Uh, but yeah, YouTube is another way to create files. Uh, but yeah, I would just go with what you have in the studio. Um, but definitely, yeah, yeah background noise is going to be the major thing, especially when you're selling it. You Mm. want the you want the audio to be pristine. Yeah, definitely. Because people are going to be paying for that product. You want to give them quality. Definitely, yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's how you do it with Got Backup. It'll be easy enough from there. You can upload any file. Um, I should have an audio file. I'll just throw one in there because I can delete it. Uh, grab an audio file. Yeah, like this is an audio file. So you just upload, so it'll put that in there. And now an audio file is in there. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. But yeah, you can upload your files. Uh, but yeah, you can upload the audio files, any scripts that you update. I mean, you could go in there and update a script. So like, if you want to go in there, um, it'll open up the file. And if you want to change something in it, you could just change the script there. So you can always edit it. Yeah. Yeah, depending on what you wanted to do with it. But you can always upload new versions. That's helpful. So it's it's easy to utilize this. And then you can always remove the files. So if you uploaded a new version, you can just delete that, delete the old version, upload the new version. Mm. But a lot easier to manage one file repository than to try and manage it on your website or anywhere else. Yeah. And then when you complete your sales and build all, you'll get that email. It'll say so-and-so has purchased your product. Here's their information. And you should get their email address and your email from there. And then you just copy and paste. Mm, that sounds good. Yeah. Will they be told that I'm doing that? You can have it on your details from your from your sale. Yeah. You can put it in the sale description. Yeah. That they'll be emailed the files. That's good then. Yeah, at that point, once you get everything modified, I mean it'll be pretty much known that you're they're purchasing files. Hmm. Very good. Yep. We finished a bit early, but we got through everything. Um, definitely let me know if you have more questions, and you can always uh, reach out to me. Uh, but then okay, I'll go ahead and end this recording. Second.